Welcome to Max ECU Training Part 6. This video we're going to be taking a look at our basic sensor details and configuration. Now our basic sensors are including things like our mat pressure, throttle position, lambda sensor, coolant sensor, and intake air temp sensor. These make up the core basic sensor inputs that we have to have coming in on any application that we tune and work with with our Max ECU. We're going to be learning what is going to be appropriate values and how to calibrate these basic sensor inputs so they're going to be working with the sensors that we have fitted to our particular engine. We have a lot to cover. Let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at working with our basic sensor configuration and programming within our Max ECUs. Our basic sensor data is going to be including things like our map pressure, throttle position, our intake air temperature, engine coolant temperature, and finally our lambda wideband air fuel reading. We need to make sure all of these are right in order to successfully calibrate our vehicle. Things like our coolant temp or intake air temperature, they're used in fuel and spark timing calculations. It's imperative that they're calibrated right so that they're referencing the proper temperature when our engine is running. Things like our throttle position have to be calibrated right because they're going to be used in calculations for our idle control, whether it's going to be using idle control or not. Also used in something like our acceleration enrichment where we have to actually add additional fuel when we have rapid throttle movements, as well as when we lift our throttle, we have a deceleration fuel cut. When we actually want to go and turn off our fuel injectors to save economy, it's used in determining all of those conditions. Now, the map pressure is super important. It's one of the most important sensors that we have coming into our max ECU. We need to make sure that is calibrated right. Now, we'll find when we're checking these sensors, we need to be in the key on engine off status. And in this case, we can find right now I'm online with my Max ECU. I'm sitting in my race vehicle right now, and the engine is off. We can actually see down here at the bottom, RPM is reading zero. We see that the map pressure is reading approximately zero. Now I am using the onboard map sensor with our uh, Max ECU. We see throttle position is reading zero. If I start to blip the throttle a little bit, we're going to see here that it starts to move and it follows my throttle movement, returns back to zero. Now, just because it reads zero when I'm off the throttle doesn't mean it's calibrated. It just means that it has some reasonable calibration scale that we're starting off with. But we want to go and do a read on our throttle position so it registers zero when we're off the throttle, 100 when we're on the throttle, and we know that it is 100% calibrated to uh, this specific uh, application we're working with here. Now, Lambda is reading error. In this specific case, I'm not using the onboard wideband for my uh, box here. So we're not running the built-in wideband to my Max Pro box. I'm actually running an external wideband because I already had it fitted to the car, and it's an AEM inline wideband controller. We need to go and specify setting all that up in a little bit here. We're going to take a look at that. So in this case, it's reading an error channel or reading error because it doesn't actually have that circuit functioning, and we need to go and deal with that. Now the coolant temp and the intake air temp. These are extremely important to take a look at on a key on engine off status, but only when the engine is cold. We can't look at these parameters when the engine's warmed up. Coolant temp will be reading whatever the temperature is from the engine. It may not be the correct scale, but it'll be reading a warmer temperature. The intake air temperature is going to be reading whatever it's uh, measuring from our intake track. Intake manifold it might be heat soaked, so that's going to be skewed up. We can't compare that against the ambient te temperature. Now, on a, a key on engine off status when the engine's cold, we can definitely take a look at coolant temp and intake air temperature as a function against their ambient temperature outside. If our ambient temperature is 30 degrees, we should see coolant and intake air temp read approximately 30 degrees. It should match each other because the engine hasn't warmed up at that point and the sensor is going to be referencing ambient conditions. So that's something that we definitely can take a look at. Now in this case, I'm sitting in my race vehicle in a temperature control garage and I'm in the 60, 70 degree uh, Fahrenheit temperature within the garage right now. So we should see these being equal to each other. We're noticing that they're not. That's a big problem. That means that the calibration scale for one or more of the sensors isn't right. Now the file that I have loaded onto my Max Pro ECU is the default file. So it's assuming that I have default sensor settings loaded onto the calibration file here and that we're working with these generic sensors. That's not going to be the case. We need to go and set these sensor scales up so it's relevant to the vehicle and the sensors that we're working with. So let's go and take a look at how we're going to do this. If we go down here in our navigation pane, we're going to go down here under inputs. Under inputs, we'll go here to the plus arrow and have our drop down menu drop down. Now we're going to be specifically taking a look here at our sensors and our lambda sensor um, to go and set things up. We're going to find here under trigger home, we're going to cover this in a separate video. This relates to the cam and crank sensor setup that we're using and the number of teeth counts. This is a whole separate video so we can understand 
all these various programming parameters. So we're gonna be skipping that. Now the cam and crank sensor or trigger home inputs here are extremely important. If we don't get these right, the engine will never actually run. It'll actually never account the correct engine speed and it'll never do exactly what we're expecting. This is also gonna be, again, a super important aspect into our basic sensor data and inputs coming in, but this is a little bit more advanced, so we're gonna cover that again in a separate video. Now under sensors here, this is gonna be taking a look at our coolant, intake air, and throttle position sensor. And that's going to be what we find down here in our lower portion of our screen. Throttle position, coolant temperature, intake air temperature. Now in this case, I've replaced one of the parameter channels here with intake air temperature. So if you don't have this here on your lower live portion of your screen, you can simply right click, you can go here to add remove items, and you can go here and add whatever you like for that particular channel that you're interested in editing down here below. So we can see here, um, we can go and select that, uh, whatever we'd like. In this case, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna worry about that. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you wanna see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you wanna go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't wanna miss any of the videos we're gonna be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.